Hello, I'm Christopher Lyle Simmons, and we're here to talk about information and communication technology. Today is Thursday, April 16th, and we're on a road to the smartphone. And today we're going to talk about ideas. So sit back, relax, and see what uh, other fellow students have done with this project. We are on a road to the smartphone, and today we're going to be talking about hardware. Hardware is the tangible parts of a smartphone, the parts that can be touched, like how I'm touching this mouse. Smartphones are computing devices that are powered by a rechargeable battery, which sends negative electrons, electricity, as a binary code through a series of conductors and logic gates to perform advanced computations. This is binary code. It is ones and zeros. The smartphone takes real-world input through the touchscreen, camera, microphone, and other stuff, and converts the data to binary code. The binary code is processed in the CPU and is stored temporarily in the RAM or long-term storage on the hard drive. The processed data is then converted into real-world output, such as sound from the speakers or videos and images on the screen. The input, processing, storage, and output of a smartphone all use hardware, but are also dependent on software and the network. That's it for now. Join me next time when we talk about smartphone software. Goodbye! Thank you to everybody that I perfectly embarrassed with that video. As you can see, those are just some examples of what you can do, but the sky's the limit. So remember, today you should have done your 10 minutes of typing, documented it. You should have watched this video, and Mark is done, so you get credit for this assignment. Don't forget about attendance. Mark, it is done. And of course, you should be working on your project. It is going to be due tomorrow night at midnight. What are you still doing here? Go do your project. Bye.